In mobile, as we said in IDF, we're going to take and create a new PowerPoint, which is of 25 watts, which allow OEM's customers to go shrink the, uh, the uh, thickness of the notebooks to one inch and in some cases lower than that. It is for mainstream mobile computing. The servers are getting, uh, and we have server spot which are as low as 75 watts, these are quad core. So this is substantially better than previous generation. And we are delivering a 40% plus uh, in performance at the same power level. And last but not least, there is a big reduction in idle power, which is important for sure in notebooks, but very much in servers and desktop, which is how much electricity you waste how much heat you generate while basically the computer does nothing. And there are a lot of occasions where a computer does nothing. Usually on a TIC we try to minimize the complexity of microarchitecture changes because it's complex enough just to bring on a complex technology like the 45 nanometer. Nevertheless, we decided to put some energy and innovation into some areas to really make a difference uh, without revamping the whole microarchitecture uh, from zero. Uh, we mentioned SSC4, we've added 47 new instructions that allows us to do all these wonderful things. We have a 128 bits wide, is how to shuffle the bytes uh, everywhere. And we have added a instruction that just that, so people could have the data handy without doing a lot of shuffling, which takes a lot of time. Divider. Divide is usually the most neglected uh, things in microarchitectures. I remember when I was in first grade, divide was something I didn't like to do. And many of the algorithms are also try to avoid divide as much as they can. Unfortunately, every once in a while you need to. And then you realize that you have all this wonderful addition and multiplies, but the divide that they have once in a lifetime takes the whole time. So we decided to make an innovation over there. Virtual mode, something become more and more important. Uh, application like VMware, like the uh, uh, being able to run a Windows on an Apple uh, uh, notebook. One of the complexities in virtualization is how to get in and out the mode. There are a lot of traps because you think you go and write to a device, but the device is not really there. It has to be virtualized and someone else have to do that for you. We have improved and reduced the time or improved the speed of getting in and out this mode by 75%. So, and some of the results in some breaking uh, records of running VMware and some other virtual applications using this new technology. We have bring in more sophistication that we'll talk in more details when we introduce our mobile part. A lot of things they have to do is how to manage the cache and how to reduce the power when it's in, not in use or less in use and the additional of deep power mode. And last but not least, we have done things at the platform level. Uh, there's a JEDEC Extreme Memory Interface that we are introducing together with some other suppliers to make the memory faster because a fast memory is important to balance all the way of the platform level. And of course that have to come in tandem with the Extreme Quad Core Processor. And some of you may remember uh, in IDF, all demoed on stage as someone really overclocking uh, a penry up to uh, more than 5.5 gigahertz. So there's a lot of potential in this kind of a extreme quad core to get wonderful performance.